Look within. Look within. Look within. And live your life. And live your life on the edge of two worlds. A reality where you find true understanding of who you are. Take the step into the unknown with Alexander McCaig and Jason Rigby as they explore the thinly veiled world of consciousness, spirit, and the human condition. Join them in embodying the oneness of all. Walk the cliff's edge between the seen and the unseen realities. Welcome to High Density Living. What do we got going on, Alex? Yeah. <laughs> we have a moo dog here. We got a moo dog. Mm-hmm. We brought Anubis uh, today to um, all of our HDL fans because uh, people have questions about cows and eating meat, right? And what that does from a... Uh... <laughs> no, I'm going to cut the cows off. I have the cows going on my mic. The YouTube guys. What, uh, what happens in a systemic... When I say systemic, so a systems thinking process for when you eat a... Cheeseburger, right? Right. Or a hamburger if you don't like cheese. Or you have people that talk about um, grass-fed. Yeah. You have that whole scenario, too. Like, the cows are happy when they died. Sure. <laughs> Is anyone happy when they're getting put down? Okay. Now that I've wet my whistle. Um, so what is it that... <laughs> good boy. What is it that everyone was talking about? He has cow color. So he's he a cow color. You know, yeah, that's why we brought him. He's a cow him. dog, right? Well, a guy who got the other video with the dog Q and A, so we got mm-hmm. Anubis in this one. Mm-hmm. He's a higher density dog on Instagram. <laughs> he is. You can like look how chill he is. Yeah, you can follow high density dogs on Instagram. <laughs> he's on there. Good boy. Nice work. All right, you stay there calmly. So we had people uh, chiming in asking us questions. What were they talking about? One one of the things was uh, like because um, we posted two podcasts on eating. Right. Um, we had the first and second episodes, and what a lot of people were talking about was... Let's get Jason in here. Yeah, and we have the dogs kind of lowered than yeah. us, but um, they they were talking about... They agreed. There were a lot of comments on organic versus GMO. Okay. So that was interesting. Interesting. And then back and forth, back and forth. But one of the main comments was over and over, it was like... Like today, I got one. I was like, I'm not giving up my bacon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But like, the seems to be the most pushback. They're agreeing on everything. Okay. But the most pushback off of our two episodes is the whole eating meat thing. Okay. So now there's there's a couple functions of eating meat, right? So what happens to the earth? Mm-hmm. What happens to the cow? Mm-hmm. And what happens to yourself? Mm. So which one do you want to start with first? I think let's start with. I think we let's start with the cow, the earth, and then ourselves. Last. <clears throat> okay. So I think that's important. Okay, so cattle, right? Right. Um, now, in order to have a cow, all right, you can't just have one cow and then that'll be the meat, right? It's not going to happen. You have to have a series of cows, right? There's right. a ratio of female cows to one bull, typically like a one to ten ratio, or maybe like one to nine, if you ask a cattle rancher. So what that means is your grazing area. Mm-hmm. Okay, for these cows have to be quite substantial, right? So when you thought you just wanted to have one, he's being so serious. Yeah, he's he's being real serious. <laughs> I don't know if people can see. We need, can we push it down a little let's bit? Bring, let's bring him down. There here. we go. <laughs> <laughs> he's like really taking podcasting seriously. No, he's a good boy. <laughs> Look at him. So, he's like looking at the camera and stuff. Yeah, I'll kick back a bit. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so we gotta we gotta raise these cows, and for this cow to grow, it's gonna take years of maturity, right? right? So this animal is gonna be birthed, right? It's a mammal. So it's got that large gestational period that we all have, right? right? This thing gets just totally launched out of the cow. It's <laughs> right. pretty much what happens. Right, yeah. The farmers have to pull this thing out, right? right? If it gets stuck, it's like come along and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, all that stuff, night, yeah. right? So you have to artificially inseminate a lot mm-hmm, of them too, right? right? Or get the bull in there and have him set it all up. It's right. a whole process, right? Just to get the cow to to give birth, right? Right. So that we can put another cow on this planet, so that we can grow it, so that you can eat meat. Okay. So now this cow, now it's out there. Right? So we've got to grow it. So what's that going to require? It's going to require a lot of feed. And they eat basic grain feed. Not most, most of them, right, do not have just like grass fed grazing. But cows. I mean, I've seen like what's that video on Netflix? Like it's not cowology or cowspiracy. Cowspiracy. Yeah, yeah. Right. And they're showing them like eating trash and all kinds of stuff. Well, yeah. Know. So they're, they're, they're not going to highlight the best stuff, right? Right. But they'll highlight some stuff that's not like, you know, fabulous. It's, it's, they got to be over dramatic. They have to be over dramatic. I mean, your average rancher probably actually is not. 
you know, being a dick. No, to the cows. no. He's the average guy's not. The guy's trying to make some money, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. So yeah. he doesn't want his stock to be not healthy, right? right. So you got to vaccinate these cows, right? Right. So you got to come in. So we're going to inject these cows like out of the gate with mm-hmm. um, everything they need because they haven't had the time to pull in the adaptogens and the other uh, nutrients from the, the the mother's milk. Right. And that milk is what gives the cow its uh, what would you say? It's um, so it's we're hurrying new- up. It's like production line, just like we do with humans. Right. At the hospital. We have to give them this fake formula. They have to come out really quick. We have to time it perfectly. You know, man has come up with a better theory than nature. That's correct. We're we're more higher evolved, right? Than the billions of years. So in order, so in order, so everyone's like, oh, well, I mean, organic grass would need. Okay, well, the cow is jacked up with synthetics, right? right? You have to synthetically cleanse this cow of any sort of bacterial issues or anything that has to do with its digestive system because it doesn't hasn't built up that immune response right. from having the the mother's milk or anything like that, right? There you go, right there. So after we've done that, so we got this young cow that's out there, it's separated immediately from the family, right? Imagine if your parents, you know, gave birth to you and then, oh, we gotta immediately separate you. Right. We want you to be there. Okay, that's our step one. Then after the separation's done, this cow's growing, we got the immune response, it's beginning to eat, it's starting to grow in size, or also requires a massive amount of clean water. Okay? Right. So for this cow to do this, you need about like, I don't know, about a thousand gallons of fresh water per one pound of the beef to grow. So and to, uh, there's I think there was I watched some documentary where they showed how much water yeah. it takes. And then if you add how many, you know, tens of thousands of cows that are out there. Correct. Yeah. So if we have tens of thousands of cows out you there. You get a whole whole city like LA. It's insane, right? Right. So you're using, so to get like 16 ounces of beef right. that people want, right? Just your regular old pound, right. whether it be a steak or like a huge burger if you're going to eat it, that takes thousands of gallons of water over a cumulative period of time, right? Right. So now we've, we've channeled the water into the cow, and we also have huge monocropping farming operations to create the grain to put in storage to feed these cows, right? right? You can't just grass feed a cow. If you want to grass feed a cow, it requires hectares of space. All right, and we'll get to that for for the global perspective. So now this cow is starting to grow. Okay, that makes sense. So it's useful life, right? So you have two, you have dairy cows, and you also and you have your your cows for your meat, right? Mm-hmm. But some of the dairy cows, when they become exhausted, right, when they no longer produce milk, what are you going to do? You slaughter them so you can eat them. Mm-hmm. Um, so this cow's now gotten to sufficient size. Um, it's not going to be a dairy cow. They're just going to it's regular old Angus beef, so they're going to slaughter it right out of the gate. So what does that mean? This cattle, right, is going right. to now get sold off. Right. So it's going to go to an auction situation where the rancher is like, okay, I'm going to sell this beef because most of the time they don't have the wherewithal to uh, us. Look within. Look within. Look within. Look within. And live your life on the edge of two worlds. A reality where you find true understanding of who you are. The learning is done. Become the teacher in embodying the oneness of all. Walk the cliff's edge between the seen and the unseen realities. Become a higher density being. Please go to www.higherdensityliving.com.com.